Hey guys, we're wrapping up another week here in Washington, D.C. And guess what? We're kicking the can down the road once more. I can guarantee you one thing. Congress is very good at waiting until the last minute to do anything. And here we are, we're right against funding, uh, a partial shutdown, and we do another continuing resolution, thinking that the outcome is gonna be different. What's the definition of insanity? insanity? Doing the same thing, expecting different results. Guys, we've been doing this since September. By now we know we're not any closer to passing all 12 appropriation bills than we were in September. So why don't we just go ahead, call a duck a duck, pass the remainder of the year as a CR, and start working on FY25. Because if we don't start working on FY25, then we're gonna do the same thing next year and do another CR. In fact, I see this playing out like this. We're going to do another CR, another CR, continuing resolution, which is probably going to end up going to either a small package of a few bills and then doing a CR on the rest of it. We're going to get to September of next year. We're going to do, or this year, I guess, we're going to do another CR for FY25 because our physical year ends September 30th. We're going to do it. We're going to do that CR sometime in probably November. And then we're going to have the election. Hopefully we have President Trump in office. And when President Trump's in office or gets elected office, why would we pass a Biden spending bill? So we're going to do another CR until probably February. And then we might actually be able to start doing appropriation bills. So we could literally be doing this for another year. Anyways, I'm just venting. It's just frustrating because you want to put, get something actually accomplished. And yet we just continue to spend our wills and spend our wills and spend our wills. Anyways. Listen, I still appreciate the opportunity you get me, to, you get me, you allow me to serve up here. I, I, while I do get frustrated sometimes, I, it's still the greatest honor that I can imagine. So may God bless you and may God bless the United States of America.